welcome, welcome. Okay, we're actually uh, just starting, so we just got through the cutscene. Um, now I'm actually 30% through the game. I actually finished it. You finished it? No, Laura Croft is the reason why I got into gaming. And let me just say this, if you haven't played the game, like stop what you're doing and buy the game. Yes, it's, it's amazing. amazing. Um, but yes, I do plan on finishing it this weekend. Uh, still, uh, there's a lot to talk about. This game has... It's intense. Really? I mean, there's been there's yeah. been controversy around it. It's it's an intense game. Right. Okay. So are we actually in the gameplay here? I actually don't remember. Right now uh, you're in you know, a little cool yeah. cinematic, cool All opening. All I feel is my controller vibrating. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna. So I was hoping that we could log into my account and yeah. uh, finish play her campaign. Yeah, basically continue on the game that I've been playing. I played some last night. I had a blast. Uh, played about two hours worth, but yeah, I think with um, with this, we, you know, you guys get to see the star of the game. I know it's not like in the meat of it yet, but uh, hopefully, gets. But let me we just get say to show you some of the it. The first thirty minutes yeah. is like extremely intense, and you'll hear, you'll definitely hear a cry. Yeah, Help! yeah. Jonah! There's now, gonna <laughs> yes. While we're while we're uh, playing the game, you guys can go ahead and uh, ask Naomi some questions. Just using right, hashtag Ask Naomi. Naomi. Uh, you can either tweet at her or at IGN, and we'll do the best we can to answer your questions. Yeah. Whether it be about the game, Naomi in general, or about me. Like, who am I? Who's Eric? I am Please Eric Martin. Tell. Eric with a Q. Eric with a Q. Yeah, that is pretty... At Eric, E-R-4-E-S-K. Yeah. I feel like I had an easier time doing this the first time, and here we go. I can't die like this. Now first, can you imagine the situation. I can half of the things she so goes through <laughs> I cannot imagine actually happening in real life. So but I'm, uh, I'm hanging upside down, let me swing to this fire yeah. and catch myself on fire so I can fall to my potential death. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, she comes out of it pretty good, I think. Um uh, she I mean, as you guys will see, she gets a, a little a little a little nothing major little flesh a wound. Little twig. <laughs> yeah. It goes through and through. Come on, Lara. You can do it. Oh my god. Maybe I'm just not going. We gotta swing. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get the momentum back here. This is. Bam. And we're good. And now she's on fire. Oh my god. Oh I'm my god. I'm still swinging. Might break my neck. Oh yeah. See, it looks so big yeah. at first, <laughs> and then it's just a tiny little thing. Like so, a little flesh wound, you know, just a little wire, yeah. a little pipe going through her. Press X before you die. So are people tweeting? I haven't uh, retweeted on my uh, account yet. I'm a little distracted. You're trying to survive. Yes. You're trying not to die. <laughs> a little bit. Kill Laura Croft. <laughs> and she does die quite often, let me tell you. And that's, and actually, that's, actually, that's actually one of the controversies. That right. The way not so not, not pretty necessarily, ways. Not necessarily <laughs> how she, like, the reasons why she dies, but, like, it's so detailed. Uh, and, it um, is. Graphic. Like, there's it's a... Graphic. There's a death where a boulder goes over her, and like in other Tomb Raiders, uh, boulder is always something that's you try to avoid. And when you get run over, it's just like she gets run over and it's just laying there. Right. In this one, she gets run over, but you see her face, and it's kind of like squished, and it's almost it like I hate using it the term, but worse, it's, it's very visceral. Like it, it could have been much worse. Uh, I'm trying to remember what to do here while I uh, figure things out. I'm see, I'm in the meat of it, so like I have all these things available to me already that makes it easier for me to play through. <laughs> But right now I'm just, just whatever, a total just noob. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm back to being a noob. Cool. Uh, we just tweeted it, so you can go ahead and retweet it. Okay. Uh, let me just stop playing for a second here. I apologize. Sorry, for guys. The temporary uh, social media business. Yes, Laura's gonna take a little breather. She needs it. <laughs> she always needs it. <laughs> Poor thing. Uh, so um, there you go. So talking about this game, the. Um, I was very surprised at how <laughs> realistic they went. They like this game is very. There's still mythological stuff. There's still, the you know, she's jumping yeah. 30 feet for no reason. Oh yeah. But it's very real. Like this game is. It's the realest Tomb Raider we've ever seen. Yes. Um. I remember tombs used to look so very. I, I don't want to say it, but I guess square is maybe a good word for oh, it. Yeah. But it looked just so plain. And you'd think, you know, after millions of years or however <laughs> long it's been there, you know, tens of thousands of years, uh, that it would be much more... Uh, Advanced, so much more well, pretty. Well, there'd be more grittiness. There'd be, it'd be dirtier, yeah. and older, like... But, you know, it's, it was kind of the, the charm of the first games, mm -hmm. as I like to say. Yeah. 
Now, one of the things that we recently read an article um, talking about what we wished were in, or what we hope for the next games, and one of them was uh, puzzles. And yes. I feel like, so this Tomb Raider has, oh wait, this is. Oh, this is, I can't believe this guy. I said, so you should die. You should let him kill you. This, uh, this you want? No. Let him kill you. I don't want Damn to. It. I can't do it. I can't <laughs> do that to Lara. Um, so like, uh, one of the things we wished uh, there was was more puzzles. And there are puzzles That's in this true. game. It's very, and some puzzles will stump you like for, you know, let's say five minutes, five, right. ten minutes. But in the original Tomb Raiders, it was uh, hard. It was hard as hell. Like, like, they were just, you'd have to look for hours like you, trying to figure out where to start. <laughs> you'd enter this huge room, like, what do I do? Like, what, do I pull this? Do I, it's, yeah. And that's what that's what made me fall in love with Lara Croft. And then of course, yes. like um, <laughs> when I was a kid, we used to, I used to call it the bear game. <coughs> one of the first enemies you meet was a bear. Yeah, let's <laughs> play the bear game. But um, in the first Tomb Raiders, they were the puzzles were massive. They were very int uh, intricate, especially for the '90s. And um, with this Tomb Raider, like the puzzles are there. There's a lot of um, uh, like Metroid style, where like you you pass something <laughs> and. <laughs> You can't really access it. Then later in the game, you get this, you know, like a uh, bow and arrow with a rope, and you can go back to the beginning and actually access a new area. Right. Uh, yeah. No, I definitely agree. And actually, I, I'm 30% the way through again, and you know, I, I'm still wondering where are those yeah. puzzles? Um, and like, like, like I said, they're there. Um, yes. They're just not as. Maybe you don't notice them as much because they're not as tough. Right. As they and used there's to a be. lot of distractions going on yeah. meanwhile, so it's. And like, like, if you guys haven't, I don't know how far you guys are in the game, but there's a particular moment where everything's on fire, literally blowing up, and it's very uncharted esque. Right. Esque. Yes. But um. I'm trying to yeah, like, it's that. super effing intense. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, oh I wish I remembered exactly what it was I did the last time. Obviously, it's probably really simple. I just. So you have to. Yeah, go ahead. Tell me because I, I forgot already. <gasps> I'm at the tide. Point. That's right. So there's something I have to burn, I believe. Because burning something in a cave is there. Bam. Yes, that's right. It's a natural. <laughs> Same like and like I said, like the, the puzzle is like it's you get stumped for a second. Like what do I do? And then it's like oh, like obvi it's obvious. Right. In the other games, it was like. What do I do? I was like, how the hell was I supposed to figure that out? Right. Most of the times with me, it was luck that I actually uh, figured out the puzzle. Oh, right. I have to put something in there first. Is that right? Ugh. I can't remember. For the <laughs> burn that, burn yeah. that one, too. Burn that one, too. Um, then boxes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get crushed by this <laughs> thing behind me now. Um, that's right. Then it's... It's just gonna fill up with stuff, and then you lift it. So, uh, a, guy, a guy named at Andy Nuts Nuts with a Z. Yes. Ask, would you ever cosplay as Laura? And actually, like she has cosplay. As Hello. Laura. Yeah. Halloween. Do you not remember 2012? Uh, yeah. So wait. Uh, that. So I. I definitely would love to do it again. Actually, because I figured the. I. I definitely thought I could have done a better job. And it's kind of hard to and blonde, so I have to wear a wig, and that's always yeah. kind of cheesy. So like it's hot, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. Stay tuned for Naomi Kyle playing Tomb Raider as Lara Croft. Uh, yes. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually supposed to bomb, um, not photo bomb, but like video bomb or whatever you might call it, uh, the live stream that we did on it. Yeah, jump on it, yep. bring it down, and then it brings up the stuff. See, it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back. <laughs> and then you push that. Yeah. Dumps the stuff, and then you're in the clear. Uh, Steven, Steve Cummings, 86, uh, has asked, would you recommend if you ha would you recommend recommend the game if you haven't played Tomb Raider since Tomb Raider 3? I mean, yeah. The, one of the things about this game I find is it's very appealing to the mass audience. Yeah. So it's not you don't have to know really what. Um, why is she not burning it? I think my angle's a bit weird. Oh. Um, and like the like what we, what people have to realize is that like this, not only is it a prequel, but this the gameplay is completely different than it's the other two. It's so Raiders. different, and it's dare I say a bit easier. Uh, yeah, so well I'm playing on normal now, and um, there's still <laughs> moments where I'm like, you know, I just wish they had added this or this yeah. just to make it a little bit more challenging. Um, but like the 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 original yeah. Tomb Raiders, they had 
So there is there's moments where you know that you have to step back once and jump. Right. Have to do a run and jump. So you press the back button. She do a comp she'll jump back all the way. Yeah. And it was like the th just the way to jump. There were intricate things to do. Right. And this one is basically just survive. Yes. Survive, survive. That's the motto for this whole Survivor's thing. Born. So I mean, but yeah. And there are moments here where it's she, just like she, how like <laughs> Laura Croft. You're <laughs> awesome. How are you doing this? How is she doing this? Um, she's almost superhuman. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> well, that's, a th and that's I mean, it's just like the story where you hear moms picking up uh, cars when, they're, when right. their children are stuck under. Right. Let them kill you. Let them kill you. Oh, come on. I don't. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Let them kill, kill me. Like, <laughs> completely by accident. And this like, time. you see her face. It's like <laughs> so messed up. It could have, but it could have still been worse. It could have been, you could have. Because you could have seen just blood been gushing, been you know. God of War style. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brains everywhere. Brains for everyone. Yay! I'm trying to remember if I got this the first time right Oh, no, or not. this took me five times for some reason. Like, this quick time action. Yeah, I, I didn't expect it. Yeah. I didn't expect it. Oh my god, like, I would have a heart attack right there. I wouldn't be able to move. Yeah, so like I was saying, like, it's, it's all about adrenaline. Like, there's been. Yeah. You know that moment when you're walking downstairs and, like, you accidentally miss a step? And, and you like, could have just died. <laughs> And like flat your heart your is just racing. It's okay. actually like adrenaline. So just imagine being in a situation where like, if I don't move, I'm gonna be crushed. Yeah. But see stuff like this, um, you know, LTRT, LTRT yeah. like that is kind of different. Like, yeah. kind of unique. But what, what's um, brings it which, to what, which I was happy to see is that a lot of this um, quick time stuff, uh, specifically like in this moment, isn't really feature in the game that much like only the no. first hour is a lot of quick time but because, unique uh, yeah. you know it's an own, in its own right it's yeah they're, they're, just try, they're trying to build character yeah like, and some people complain about you know quick times being like taking over the game but True like predominant, I'd rather yeah. I'd rather press uh, X and X Y in certain in certain ways in order for Laura Croft to run up a wall and do this crazy stuff like, right I, in actual gameplay you couldn't do that like no. at least we get to see and actually kind of participate in it exactly um, this uh, this moment's like beautiful. To me. Ah, it's so gorgeous. Yeah. Like that's one of the things I have to give credit. Like by far the they put so much thought into the look of it and the feel of it and just the environment. Like and they like that. Like, that. I'm yeah. such a fan of putting the title of movies or game know, inside a scene. I know. And it's just like and it's just like a moment like damn. Like, yeah. Like what have I gotten myself into? Yeah. Everyone taking this moment. <laughs> and there's a rainbow, a circle rainbow. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, I'm a little, I'm a little, uh, I have a trouble speaking and watching and enjoying the game at the same time. It's harder than it looks. It's, it's, it's so it's hard. It's much harder than it looks. It's something I'm getting used to more and more, so. Um, so, at McQuack, <laughs> that's <laughs> a really cool name. <laughs> at McQuack 306, uh, says, do you feel Crystal, Crystal Dynamics made a proper reboot? I just bought the game and I can't wait to play. I think I think it is proper in the way that it's brought it back to nowadays. Modern. It's, it's very it's modernized. It's, yeah. You have textures that were not there in the game uh, or in the previous games. And like the like one of the biggest things is like you can actually see emotion in her face now. It's not just a, it's not just yes. Laura, Laura having a square face of like you know lips that don't yeah. actually move. Like you can. When Whatever Laura's hurt, you can see her like in pain. Like in, um, there's a couple moments in the game, like when you zoom in, when she's holding a torch. Like Laura's eyes follow the light, mm -hmm. and it's the it's details in video games for me is what makes a great game. Yes, it's all about details, the small small things, and people. It's bringing the realness to it. Like yeah, like I I enjoy I enjoy real. real games. I enjoy very realistic games, and um, I feel Tomb Raider did a great job of being very real. But at the same time, like doing stuff that okay. well, ten times, uh, once in a bajillion years would actually happen in real life. Right. I remember doing this uh, level at E3 and thinking, "Whoa, like this is crazy." Um, and then especially thinking that it's very uh, Uncharted-like. So okay. Especially this scene. So. And I'll tell you. <laughs> let me just. Yeah. So, Uncharted try to out Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider. Right. And now Tomb Raider is trying to out Uncharted, yeah. Uncharted. That's a good way of putting it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and Tomb Raider does a great job of, of taking that Uncharted-esque and make yes. it their own. 
Well, making it, I find it, uh, Uncharted had a lot more uh, comedic appeal, like, and oh, it yeah. was kind of not taking itself too seriously. Um, and I'm not saying that Tomb Raider is taking itself too seriously, but it's definitely a deeper, it's, more it's, well, se like serious I, I, story. And, it, and I think it's because um, not only does it make a great story, but it's because right. like, people, for the most part, know this character. We yes. Everyone, Laura Croft is a staple in the video game industry. Correct. Yeah. And so this is, and we've heard about, um, even though this has nothing to do with the previous games, we've always heard about how Laura Croft started and like her dad died and whatever, but we never actually got to know Laura, Laura's um, emotional side. Yeah. Oh, and also how she got to being exactly who she is now. So or turns was. out she had a <laughs> turns out she's stuck on the island. <laughs> yeah, and has <laughs> to go through a life. lot of stuff. Um, I mean, there's torture in this game. There's all kinds of it's just yeah. scary experiences that you Can wouldn't wish on anyone, me? but she went through and is made stronger because of it. So, okay. And what I um, what I really <laughs> like. Oh. oh. <laughs> See, I was gonna say like, where's my X button? <laughs> I can't save her. I was her. like, oh, you just died. Yeah. No. Um. What was, it, what was it to say? I forgot what I was to say now. I was watching Laura fall. Oh, darn it. <laughs> uh, I can't remember either. <laughs> but uh, Video games. Yeah, video <laughs> games. I, but I definitely like the, that they took, because it used to be that, you know, um, or, you know, the Lara that we mm. all have come to love before yeah. this game. She was witty. Like, she had this, like, ego, like. Oh, she's, oh, she's very. so just intense. I, I like to call it English, like it's English charm. Like you're yes. being, like you're being witty. You're being right. almost, a, almost a jerk. But right. it's like you know what, your accent and just like right. how playful you are. I'll let it pass. But it's nice to take it back a little and like take her, mm -hmm. take, just get to see her serious side yeah. and get to see and her, her real deep. I side. remember, what I, was, I remember what I was gonna say. Um, I love how throughout the entire game, like Laura's like talking to herself and yes. like. In other previous games, and which is fine at its own, like Laura's just quiet and is it's just you in a big room by yourself, and trying to figure wh which out. is which is like scary in its own right, just like complete silence in yeah. a huge environment. But I actually enjoyed just like Laura um, like crying and like screaming, the, like almost the entire game. I'm very curious to see like the actress who played Laura, just to see her in the studio. Do we have it? Like, is <laughs> there footage of <laughs> That'd that? That'd be amazing. Just. I like, thought of that too. Like, there how many times does this girl have to cry and scream? Yeah, no, there was a scene. Uh, she was, I don't know, pulling something out of her stomach that she'd been poked with. Um, not, not what we just saw, but something completely mm. different. And she started crying, and like, just I really felt the pain. Yeah. You know, and that was one of the things where like this voice acting actually made me feel something. Yeah, exactly. And and Crystal Dynamics did a like I said, a fantastic job of just right. making you connect with Laura. Making her, yes, relatable. Making her relatable yeah. is one of the big things in this. And like, uh, and we, I mean, we couldn't say that like if we were in the cave and was falling apart, we'd just like sit there and cry. But like, like in reality, like we want to survive and Laura yeah. just wants to live. There's that and instinct that yeah. gets kicked in or and that is kicked in once you so we would, experience I mean, these things. We don't know what you'd do like in that situation. Just mm -hmm. like you'd be running and like, I need to live. Right. And later, uh, later up, you see when Laurie gets the first kill, like, if you're in that situation, like, you're going to have to kill intense. somebody. Yeah. Yeah. And then she goes on and kills a bunch of other people, and that's fine. <laughs> yeah. Here's the Sinti world famous archaeologist. And this Laura again, Croft. bringing Even it back to nowadays, it's kind of, you know, making us uh, feel like we time. can relate to her because we have nowadays so much technology that wasn't available yeah. before, and they're making it, just bringing it to life in this game for us to No read. mention of Twitter or Facebook. No I'm mention of that. I uh, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> <because> <laughs> <laughs> Always. Um, this is off topic, but and and the new American Pie. Yeah. They, um, constantly mention Twitter and Facebook. Just trying to like stay relevant. Stay relevant. And it was really exactly. weird. Like, oh, did you tweet that? Did you <laughs> post that? I'm like, okay. Right. I just want to see a pie. That's all I want to see. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we're talking over this, but um, there's just a lot to talk about, especially with this game. But you're here for us, right? Yeah, you're here to hear us talk. <laughs> Speaking of us, uh, at Jay Gator, at, at Jay Gator 352. Sure. Um, I know IGN's official official score for the game is a 9.1. What score would you give? Ooh. What score would you give it? Oh, I mean, I, the thing is, I I, I see what they're doing with this game. They're making it appealing to the mass audience and what have you. But um, 
There's just a side of me that, you know, wishes it was more difficult. I'm going to play it on hard. I'm going to go back to it. I might just play it a second time just to know for sure. Uh, but there are certain things I wish they could have elaborated on. That's not to say this game hasn't, like, succeeded in just showing us uh, a whole new side to Lara that I so much appreciate and, like, can, you know, be grateful for. So I, I would give it... I don't know. This this could backlash really. <laughs> Idea official right here. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, I, I I do agree with the 9.1 uh, you know score. Maybe if I was just being you know really critical, I'd I'd give it an 8.5. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. But maybe maybe don't then again I'm not a good <laughs> <laughs> then again I'm not a good judge. I just I think for my you know I pl after playing this and having just played Far Cry for example, you know things that Far Cry succeeded at um, I felt like just this game kind of lacked like um, just if you're comparing yeah. the two yeah but for it's, it's a tough thing I hate giving scores to games because there's just and I have yet fun. to experience like, the rest of it it's, too. it's like and all you gotta know is like is should I buy it or not you should buy it oh buy this game yes yeah I mean, don't game. get me wrong. <laughs> buy two copies if you have the money. Yes. Support this game. Yeah. Um, for me, uh, I, I'm a writer. Like I write stories, mm -hmm. and so I'm a huge story guy. Yes. And story is important. And so, with, like with The Walking Dead, um, people would say that the gameplay is like terrible. You know, it's, you know, it's just like a go over here, press X, over here, press Y. But oh, for me, no. the story just overshadowed the gameplay. Like yeah. I was. It was my game. It was my personal game of the year. Yeah. Um, so with this, like, the story is amazing. The acting, especially for a video game, is amazing. Yeah. And I never once was I did I cringe. Never once did I like. Oh, why like, do you say it like yeah. that? It didn't sound real. It didn't sound natural. Um, no, the definitely voice acting is a plus in this. We should also mention that uh, I keep saying Laura. It's Lara. I say Lara Croft. See, I, I, people corrected me saying it's Lara. Uh, La Lara? Lara? It's Lara. It's Lara? Lara, Lara Croft. Like, who the hell? Like, it's but Lara. <laughs> see, I used to say Lara. Like, I'll tell you this. I used to say Lara. Lara. <laughs> and people used to correct me. Um, especially when hosting the fix, you know, you don't want to say things wrong. Uh, you want to say things in the way that they're supposed to be pronounced. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like, there's... You know, it's 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 also an accent thing. Maybe exactly like Laura. My Laura Croft. my personal <laughs> accent. I say Laura. Right, I say Laura. Well, now I do. Angelina Jolie said Laura, so I'm gonna say <laughs> Laura. <laughs> Whatever she says goes. Um. Oh my god. Um. Let's see. Yeah. More questions. I can do the questions. Um. Of course you can do this, Laura. You're Laura. <laughs> <laughs> at Rich at Richard Barter, not once has this guy said La Laura Croft's name properly. It's Laura, not Laura. Is it really that hard? It is hard for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to like once I hear a name, right. like um, this may sound really weird, but at my old jobs when I would meet new people, and uh, this one this one girl's name was Yvonne, and I couldn't really say her name right, so I just called her Water. Right. Like, I just once I get a name Water. stuck in my head, I say it and like, or I give you a nickname. Yeah. So Laura, like I am, I'm sorry, like chastise me, but I, Laura, I'll try saying Laura, 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 Laura. Laura. <laughs> it's hard. It is hard, Richard Barton. There are certain words you you know. It's just whatever you think is natural, whatever you think is. Oh no. No, I wish um. So yeah. this game, um, there is somewhat like a. A hunting aspect you know you only get uh, um, experience boo. points it's not it's nowhere near as depth as far cry 3 where like, you have to make stuff but Going too quickly here. i do wish they i mean if you're gonna include hunting make it m more part of the game a bigger, right. a bigger part of the game like have it have an effect on yeah on exactly you. yeah but um, like, like i said almost in the same the same vein as far cry 3 like sorry. they for if you're hunting a pig, you can make a you know make a bigger case for your ammo. Mm -hmm. And with this one, it's like the first mission is just you know f kill a deer, eat, and now the rest of the game is just kill a deer just to get just for XP. Yeah. yeah, just for the hell of it. Um, which again, to bring it back to Far Cry, you know they they made it integral. You know you need to hunt. Yeah. Um, whereas this, they just kind of had it there as a feature, but also it brings it back to that theme of survival. I think they just wanted to have that, that aspect of it. Yeah, Survivor's Born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is this is this is not officially lower. This is 
Everyone's talking about Laura's first kill. This is not her first kill. Let me just say, some pe I actually had some people saying like um, in the comments section because like my job is moderating sometimes, right. and people are like, oh, it's stupid that everyone's giving the big whoop about her first kill. It's a deer. It's like no, like, get real. A <laughs> first, first kill is an actual human being. Yes. Sorry, Peta. <laughs> um. Yeah. So now we're going back here. I love the instinct thing. Like I'm really happy that. Um, it's not, it's not, I don't want to say overpower, that sounds really weird to say, but like. Well, it's not always obvious. Exactly. So you can press LB as much as you want, but sometimes you won't even be able to see it from your, wherever you are in the yeah. game. So it's, it it's does a, it's a good still it's a good allow addition. you to, yeah. Um, it's a very light way of just, because, you know, in, in Batman Arkham City, for example, you could just see the bad guys from through doors and through like all these things. So this just is a an easier way to direct you where to go, which actually now I'm kind of questioning where I'm going. <gasps> at Nova, oh. or not at Nova. This I is from actually before. IGN. Nova the dryer says, the guy talks more than the girl. I like yeah. talking. He, uh, I mean, Eric, I'm glad you're helping this move along because, to be honest, gaming and talking is really hard. <laughs> Let me just say that in yeah. my high school, I, uh, I won uh, most talkative in the yearbook. Really? So I talk a lot. All right, let's see. Let's see what kind of do I even? I only have one skill point. Damn it! Wish I had more. What did you think about this? Like about this whole system? The skill I points first of all, all it's very stylized. Yeah. I love that the way it looks. Um, uh, easy to navigate. I mean, it takes some getting used to, but for the most part, I. It think took me a while to get used to. Like I, for some reason, the menus weren't as responsive. Um, right. In my, on my disc, maybe it's just me. <coughs> Excuse me, but um. I mean, the menus are cool. I mean, I do enjoy the uh, RPG elements of it. Yes. Um, there's a lot of times where I didn't need something. Mm -hmm. there's, like, there's one you can, like, upgrade. Um, you can have a execution with a shotgun instead of a pistol. It's, like, cool. I mean, it's not really, like, needed. Right. An RPG is also something to be Got needed. <laughs> We are shipwrecked on an island. Um, yeah, I just went through that really quickly. <laughs> I didn't really okay. have time to Easy. look. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, let's just get to the story part of it. And then it went black, and I woke up in a cave. There was this crazy man rock. I do always feel bad for her, though. And that's, that, goes, that just goes with the acting. Yeah. Uh, acting with the emotion you see on her face. Yeah. Uh... Listen to me. And I, you know, so I d so bringing, back, bringing it back to the cosplay, Hopefully I did cosplay her as her, I'm and I, you know, used photos as references, and obviously the game location. hadn't been out yet, <laughs> and I'd only played like, a, a small portion of it at E3. Uh, um, her necklace here. is really small. You can do this, <laughs> I made mine <laughs> much bigger than that. <laughs> details, sorry. Details, small details. Cos <laughs> that's, a, that's a cosplay offense. <laughs> right, you know, so I definitely need to go back and, and try that again just to get it right. Um, and she gets way dir dirtier than I even thought. Okay. Um, would happen in this game because yeah she oh, yeah. gets thrown around constantly well there's i mean there's dirt on her arms blood blood all over. everywhere there's actually a moment in the game where like she falls in a pool of blood yeah i don't know if you ever seen have you seen that part but like, I, she I'm falls in a pool of blood yet, but <laughs> um, yeah. again everybody you can uh, ask <laughs> naomi questions i know i'm talking a lot my bad um <laughs> thank uh, you eric you can either <laughs> go on twitter and use hashtag ask naomi uh, or you can actually go on the article bad. or the naomi's blog and actually ask a question in the comments like Nova the Dryer did, saying I talk too much. <laughs> yeah, but uh, this could be see, this was where I finally was like, yes, tombs, we're getting there. We're getting towards the, the tomb part of the game. Um, tombs weren't a big part. Like, tombs weren't really, I mean. So they, they're they here and there. I mean, again, I am not a good judge because I've only played 30 minutes, but um, definitely I'm always wondering sometimes, you know, where are the tombs? I'm outside a lot. I'm jumping from ledge to ledge a lot, um, which was still a part of the other games, too, I yeah. remember. Well, I mean, um, but that was one of the things we brought up in, again, the uh, article that Justin Davis wrote mm -hmm. about where we want to see Laura next. And with the t with this island, it's very obvious. Just like tombs, or you can't have that many tombs because it's just it's an island. You're not right. in Egypt, whatever. So the next games, I hope tombs is actually a bigger part. Yes. Or and the puzzles. We yeah. want more puzzles. The entire or the entire game is actually one big tomb with Horus. This is insane. A la Tomb Raider Four. Right. 
I did like this part though. You know, it, it brought me back to the old stuff. Yeah, the so way the like, learning. It's like you actually learning the history part of it. And you like Laura is super intelligent. Like she knows what she's talking about. I know. She's always you know noticing things and like again the talking out loud part yeah. uh, allows her to do that to show her knowledge. And like slightly like moves her head. Yeah. And like something of interest is there. Right. Oh this right. Open. This is where I need to go get the. I forget where it is. Burn that. Oh right. The burning of the stuff. Oh. She burns a lot of things in this game. Well, we're bringing out accents. <laughs> yeah. Tom Butler. <laughs> Tom Butler and Daniel Krupa. <laughs> I'm terrible at accents. No, you're doing all right. <laughs> doing all right. I used to, Ooh. with Harry Potter, I would practice my yeah, yeah. English accent. Um, another thing, the gore in this game, you know, that I've noticed. Um, I mean, gore's there for, it, it's not there to shock you. I think it's there just to, like, again, make it real. Like, if you, right. if you shoot somebody in the stomach, like, yeah, blood's going to come out. Right. And I think it's... There's a difference between being tasteful and being shocking. Right. God of War is shocking. I love God of War. Mm -hmm. God of War is shocking. Tomb Raider is tasteful. Yes. Tastefully shocking. Yes. Write that down. <laughs> Take note. Um, uh, yeah. So, at Medal of Doom. Okay. Uh, so, with four O's, do you strongly, rec do you strongly recommend a buy for Tomb Raider? Yes. yes. We've said that yes. multiple times already. And I'll keep saying it. Buy this game. If you can buy, t if you can buy two, buy two. Yeah. It's a buy the collector's edition. You got a lot of cool stuff with Do it. Do you get the box? Like, is there any way you can buy that box anywhere? No. It's actually, uh, I think it was just a special thing that Square Enix decided to send out some of their... Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you only get uh, two extra things. So you get the... Um, Did you get that? Uh, well, you get the box and the crowbar, but... Uh, Generally, it was just a water bottle, uh, Look for coffee mug. I mean, if you saw the image. Cool controller. I, I bought that controller. The controller. is sick. Yes. Like, there's never been a, a Xbox controller that's uh, Laura, textured. You made it. Yeah. And I so love you it. had the bandage, and you can actually feel the texture yeah. of the bandage, which is really cool. A little note, Microsoft. It's okay. do, uh, with the Xbox 720, Sorry. allegedly, yes. you should do more custom Xboxes, custom controllers. Mm -hmm. That is that is probably the main reason why I went for Xbox. Cause I have an R2-D2 Xbox because it's awesome. <gasps> I wanted that. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> I was kind of, you know, uh, looking at the... Uh, they have a Tomb Raider My Xbox, manners. too, I'm I think. Sorry, I'm and it looks pretty awesome. Every time I see, like, you know, Bioshock Xboxes or Tomb Raider, I'm like, hey, Andrew, mm -hmm. Greg, can I have that? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to give this away? <laughs> right. Another thing I noticed, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but there's a lot more people surrounding Lara yeah. this time around. Yes. Um, she used to be a, a lone wolf, you know, always on her own, right. out and about, but now it's uh, she's more? got everyone to help her out I'm kind intrigued. of thing. And, and well, I like that, but I also don't like that. I think um, years ago, they did it. Queen Himiko. I'm 99% sure that they did it just to build more character. Right. Um, because Laura feels bad that you know, certain people die, certain people get hurt. Um, but yeah, it's kind of it is kind of weird um, to have a group of a, gr a, gr a, a group surrounding Laura. Yeah. And I guess I can um, that rumor that there's a Tomb Raider movie based oh, off this game, okay. and like this game can easily be a movie. Oh yeah, easily. they can use the actress who played yeah. her, I mean, who's gorgeous by she's the way. Amazing. <laughs> I follow her on Twitter. Also, she's in Grey's Anatomy or something. What's right your now? Twitter handle? Uh, Camilla something. <laughs> I forget her last name. Follow at Camilla something, everybody. Yeah. Uh, Camilla, uh, it just escapes me now. But, yeah, she's gorgeous and um, did a really great job with this. I was watching um, the, Sam! I don't know if you've seen it, the, Sam! when she's doing the motion capturing of her oh, body. Oh, right, yes. And it's pretty cool. Like, she's actually, like, in these scenes, she's actually crying mm -hmm. when she's acting out these scenes. You have to. If you want to, if. You know, one of the things of voice acting, you have to yeah. emote. Like, you have to feel the emotion yourself for it to come across yeah. real, like naturally, especially with voice acting, because yeah. you can't see anything. And I think with, with the future, we're going to see a lot more yeah. celebrities doing games, like Beyond Two Souls, which I am so very excited for. Right. Ellen Page. Oh, this part is hard. <laughs> Keep Ellen, going. Ellen Page and William Dafoe in a game, like, that is going to be amazing. Right. Ellen Page is taking over the world, people. <laughs> Again, imagine yourself in the situation. Oh, God. And these... Okay, well, if you haven't played yet, maybe we'll leave it as a surprise. But ah, These guys are huge. Aren't they huge? 
So uh, I used to live next. I was uh, like, what? My neighbor used to have a pet wolf, and ah. wolves are big. humongous. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. I think he comes out this way this time. Yeah. Um. Again, <laughs> this is this is from a. Uh, on your Not blog. commenting on your talking again, is Yeah, it? they are. Oh, on your no. No. Uh, Kaz <laughs> underscore T PS3. Yeah. Why do they keep calling her Laura? Is that an American thing? I guess it is. I guess it is an American thing. See, I used thing. to say Lara. It's La Laura. 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 <laughs> I just want to make sure to say it right, people. Oh, my God. We're probably overthinking it. Exactly. No, and we that's why we we're totally saying are, it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. totally are. Yeah. See... Oh, let's see. So Paul Williams, again, from IGN Blogs, yeah. uh, he said, Speaking as someone who never really liked any of the previous Tomb Raider games, I really <laughs> love this okay. this more realistic, exactly. emotional approach to the game. Yeah. I wasn't expecting was much yeah. from this game, but it definitely, it's definitely definitely my favorite game so far this year. What but do you guys think about the changes to the approach they made this time around? You well, we've been talking briefly about that, we need um, to find but... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, I, I appreciate it. I, I know okay. what's going for, and I like that. I like that they succeeded at doing a good job at it. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, bringing the whole the uh, more emotional side her. of her no, and no. Uh, let, uh, having her me. be more relatable and all these little things that just get you know to, to we get to know Lara in a, a more it's been a while. Uh, profound way. Yeah, exactly. Get to Roth. And I, I love that, and I, I appreciate that because most games nowadays, or we're seeing a lot more story-based games that yeah. take this approach, yep. and and you okay? know, it's it's I think it's yeah, kind of the future of gaming. It's where we're going with games. Is, is taking F that future realness. gaming is definitely uh, emotion. Mo yes. Emotion is going to be the key yes. word for the next generation. I mean, look at Journey, Walking Dead are perfect examples yeah. of that. Um, we're it's definitely where heading we're headed. Emotion, emotional state. Right. So get, get prepared to cry for the next <laughs> three years. Yeah. Sit here. Um, but, uh, you know, again, <coughs> there's something that. about the older games that I still, you know, miss. And I, maybe it's because I was so new to them mm -hmm. that they just had such an impact on me uh, that I'm, I'm just so gung-ho about, like, That's how they bad. used to be. Um, but I, I can still very much love and enjoy this game. Again, again like, yeah. I'm, a, I'm a story guy, and I love how they actually made a there. comprehensible story uh, this go-around, this reboot. Right. The previous Tomb Raider games, it was uh, actually Tomb Raider 4 uh, Revelations was the closest thing they had to like a really genuinely good story. Mm -hmm. And I, ended up, like, I don't know if you guys ever played that game, but she it's all about Horus in Egypt. It takes place in Egypt and at the end. Laura gets trapped um, in a tomb. The next game, she's like Angel of Darkness, which is terrible. Yeah. But um, I applaud Crystal, Crystal Dynamics for this take on Laura. I'm excited for more. I want more. Make more. Yes. <laughs> if you can get anything from what we're talking about, <laughs> make more games like this. Uh, this is a part. So this is, you know, a part where more wolves come. But what I was going to say was the rabbits. I have a friend, Amaris, uh, who. Shout out to Amaris. Am shout out to Amaris. Uh, she works with us at IGN. <laughs> but she loves rabbits. And I was telling her on Twitter how, like, <laughs> Oh wait, are the wolves coming? That yet? video we—I don't know if you saw that video we made. Oh no! I, I panicked there. That was a panic shot. Whoa! Oh. Um, so I remember failing terribly oh. at this part. <laughs> no, too soon. I'm gonna die. Oh, dude, Just as like well. <laughs> you guys get to see some of so of, intense uh, of Lara dying. <laughs> So intense. Yeah, uh, but she loves rabbits, and I was telling her, I'm careful not to kill the rabbits because I know Amaris loves them. And so I don't know if you guys have, have you, I don't know if you guys have seen the uh, <laughs> IGN um, <laughs> video of Laura's kills, and it starts out with her like being a badass and killing everybody. The last five seconds is her like uh, pointing a shotgun point blank at a rabbit, and it's just the funniest thing I've seen in a very long really? time. Really? <laughs> Sorry, Peter. Again. Oh, uh, let's see. So, my bad, guys. Uh, at Stur wow, that was easy. Sturgy O Max Core, Twitter names. Yes. Uh, do you think having more freedom would make the game better? If not, why? Ah. Stop attacking me. So I guess he's saying, like, do you enjoy how linear the game is? Um. Yeah, I can appreciate that. Uh, you know, I I like. RPGs, and I like the, that kind of story-based element of most games, and that's what I kind of am attracted to in general. So, yeah, I, I definitely like that. 
Um, I'm trying to think of, I mean, I can still appreciate like open world games, you know, Far Cry 3 or uh, Sleeping Dogs, for example, which still had Dogs. had a, a good linear story to it, but you could pretty much go off and like do mm -hmm. other missions and do as you please. But well, it's just like all, I mean, all f like all. Yeah. I want to say all open world GTA. Like there's the main missions, but it's still an open world. Right. But um, I uh, again for for story's sake, I think they kept it linear on purpose. Um, I personally, this is my. I think this is perfect amount of open world for a Tomb Raider game because mm -hmm. um, Tomb Raider is all about just exploring it's, it's about exploring but I want to be in a place where it's controlled if that makes sense like this is v it's very controlled well that's what I'm saying so you know These Sleeping Dogs uh, mm -hmm. did that a little bit and you know I've I seen these before. Yeah, I totally agree that um, certain games that have... Yeah, I'm kind of losing my train of th thought here, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like that you have that flexibility. Like, like there's crazy. those things, you know, you yeah, have to light up like um, certain um, the the statues. Like and yeah. I don't know what they're called, but you, you got have a bunch these of, bunch of challenge. I mean, different like challenges on the side that you can choose, pick and choose when you want to do them. This, uh, and I like that. A lot of people have said, and I agree, that Tomb Raider has the right amount of collectibles to get mm -hmm. not too many not too less to and they're and they're en enjoyable to get yes oh, shit. like and they're not too difficult to find yeah. I'll have to try and like there's I'm maps in each section them. and if you find the map it shows where all the collectibles are yeah incredible let's see um <laughs> uh at chris underscores traver I know you. Uh, the two of you did a very well, <laughs> did very well with the British accents. <laughs> I approve. Look, uh, love the look of this game. Yes. Oh, oh wait. I did my best. No. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry. Harry Potter. Uh, let's How see. How you doing? Um, fire in Mayhem Nine. Ah, shit, I'm not used to having the less. Uh, Keep keep going. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Fire and Mayhem Nine. What do you mostly love about Laura? Laura. <laughs> uh, I she's strong. You know, I I like that she is smart. She's just a good role model. Um, and she's she's not. I don't know. She's not annoying. She's cool. <laughs> you know, not I just I want to be her. Quote that. One of the not things. annoying. <laughs> she's not annoying. Uh, I'm trying to remember now. What did I need? To you need no go oh. back, go back here. Well, you have to press X right here. Nope. Oh well, I did, but she can't do it because I think I need to upgrade my thing. Oh, go to your go to your campfire. Right, that's right. Okay. You have to find salvage first. That's and then right. Go to campfire. Is this a campfire? Yeah. Yep. Um. So. <laughs> um, this is. Uh, I don't know if you guys read <sighs> Naomi's blog and like saying we're doing this, but uh. uh Habit Able Storm Three mm -hmm. just said I'm totally at, I'm totally at adding hoodoo to my vocabulary. Right. <laughs> so I was like trying to figure out. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Let me. Oh shit! This is not what I want to do. Why am I getting out of here? Uh, something about this menu is not working with me. Uh, I need to go. Oh, it's unavailable. That's why. It's you don't have working. enough salvage. See. These are the kind of things that, you know, I completely, when I was immersed in the game, paid attention to. And now that I'm playing it anew, for, like, where I'm at, where I used to be mm -hmm. last night and now where I am, uh, also going back to it is difficult. Vocabulary. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, hoodoo. So, funny story. I was trying to figure out, like, what are those, rig like, what are those platforms Shit. that she uh, is jumping to constantly, right? Do those things actually... They exist in real life, but you know, not as predominantly. I think not. There aren't that many, and so I was trying to figure out what do they call them in real life, and I couldn't remember. And I was thinking maybe high cliffs or ridges or like platforms of some sort. Um, and then I was going around. Yeah, I was going around asking, what do you? What would you call those r raised levels, like land masses that are raised and you know disjuncted? You have to like jump to each one to get to it. Um, and yeah, hoodoo was the word that they found. Uh, it was pretty funny because I'm like, I like the word hoodoo now. I'm going to use that. And then there was other words too I could have used, but um, this was one that I decided to stick to. I think uh, people <laughs> purposely make s simple things more difficult. Right. It's a platform. Yeah, it's exactly. Platform. I just wanted <laughs> it to sound more, uh, what was the term I used? I wanted it to sound more uh, nature y, you know? Like, nature y. Yeah, more fitting with the, the environment that Lara exists in so um 
those wolves completely caught me off guard. So this is actually kind of a cool question. Yeah. Um, Padako, on the on from my IGN. Uh, female protagonists in games are pretty rare. Would you consider the new Laura to be sort of a role model for female protagonists in no. video games, or was, or was her characterization a misstep in any way? In other words, is the new Laura portraying women the way that they would like to be portrayed in games? Um, see, that's I, a, a topic. And I guess I guess they're going. I guess what they mean is like we see Laura's vulnerable, and actually one of the, one of another um, controversies was vulnerable. like the the attempted rape scene. Yes. And which I still haven't. Got. Wait. Hello. And it's a. Uh, I guess yeah. Like, is that some? Is that what? Are they portraying a woman correctly? Like, is that? Like, do you, are you offended yeah. when that happens? Like, do you, are you offended that Laura Croft is this vulnerable? Uh, you know, yes and no. <laughs> I hate these kind of questions because I don't want to say anything. <laughs> you know, that sounds. It's live. You can't edit it. Yeah, I don't want to. Uh, offend anybody um I, I really i think she is a little too vulnerable you know too weak mm. um and you know it's not like when you play for example drake and uncharted where he's this tough guy and can kind of get through everything and and there's elements of her in this game that i feel like she's uh i want her to be stronger so you know i want her to to i'm gonna counter that yeah go ahead now with drake you uh, the first Drake, you're, he's already established. Like, he's already right. doing the stuff. With this one, this is, again, their slogan, A Survivor is Born. This right. is Laura's first time in any kind of uh, life-threatening situation. If, if Drake was in, I'm pretty sure Drake's first adventure, he was freaking out the entire time. Now, would, yeah. they, would they make a game about that? Probably not. It, it's maybe more about how she feels. Yeah. You know? Is that weird to say? No. <laughs> like, she feels like... Um, very fragile, um, and I guess it's true. We, you know, women we we are not the same as men, and that's normal. But yeah, there's just it's such a touch touchy subject. <laughs> but um, I mean, if I was a woman, I'm a man. Yeah. If I was a woman, um, I think she kicks ass. Yeah, I would. You know? I mean, I'd, I'm proud. Of, I'm proud of Laura Croft. Right. Um, I think I personally think Laura Croft is something, especially now the game industry needs. Just like a, bit more. a woman can be badass and smart and all this kind of stuff mm -hmm. and I've seen I've read a lot of comments that people want you know a, a Laura Croft Drake crossover in somewhere and I think Laura Croft would win yeah power w power how do you say it <laughs> woman power <laughs> also she has brains so that helps and Drake's just a womanizer so right <laughs> <laughs> I totally let that pass you know over my head yes he's a womanizer he can be Charming. He's charming. That's what oh, I, he's very charming. I'm going to call him charming, not a womanizer. Uh, if, if, <laughs> if, if, if Drake came to the house and Eric, let's make right. out, like, okay, Drake, you're charming. I'm currently um, look like going around doing whatever. I'm not Go really. Go to the campfire kidding. again. Yeah, I think I. But <sighs> Open that one. But I'm not sure I'm, I have the ability oh, you don't have yet. It yet. Yeah. Where. So what yeah. am I missing here? There's something I'm not thinking about that. Um, I, don't, I just don't think I have it. Yeah. Press LB. I might be able to show you where. Oh, yeah. That thing. <laughs> Again, yeah. talking and playing video games. Oh, yeah. It's difficult. But uh, one thing I want to do more is Let's Plays. So hopefully that'll get me into the the knack of it, you know, being able to do it. Probably next week we're playing Far Cry 3. Yeah. Let's do that. Because Far Cry 3 next week. we were supposed to do that today. However, our, um, our little Xbox has no internet. So, uh, yeah. And and we're hoping that our next one IGN. also will com. have us featured, so you can see us as we play, which would be cool. So I gotta figure that out. Yeah. How's that happen? Let me see my my beardy face and Naomi's blonde hair. Yeah. Another shrine. Oh, let's see. Uh, another question. Uh, who is uh, worshiping? BDA Master Taken at BDA Master Taken. Uh, hashtag Ask Naomi. Who will we be cosplaying next? Uh. I, to be honest, I haven't really thought about it, but um, if I could take a moment now to sort of figure out who I'd want to cosplay Ellie. as, that should do what? It. Ellie, last, really? last of Us, Ellie or Ellen Page and shave your head. It'd have to be. It'd have to be current, right? <laughs> <laughs> shave your head and be Ellen Page. I don't know that I can do that. <laughs> Not my blonde hair, um, my golden locks. Uh, you know, 
I've always wanted to cosplay as, and this might be super old and like done before, you know, done with, um, uh, Lilu. Is oh, it Lilu? Nice. Yeah. So from for Ho for Hall, you should do this for Halloween. Um, Sean Allen and me, we are gonna be. I'm gonna be Ruby Rod. Ooh. Sean Allen's gonna be Corbin Dallas. Perfect. You should be Lilu. <gasps> oh my God. I have a posse now. That's awesome. And it would be the best. We would win all the contests here at IGN. Right. In case you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but, yes, I've always wanted to cosplay as her. It's been a long-time dream. Um, huge fan. Like, that's one of my top five movies of all time. Oh, no, the wolves again. Stay away from me. I really. You have enough salvage now. She said it. Okay, good. See, I was going to say, when's she going to have enough? When are you gonna have enough, Lara? I love that this guy was running with a freaking arrow in his head sticking out. <laughs> Let's see. I'm still gonna go get their stuff. More and questions. he's rolling down a mountain. Where did Lara go? <gasps> guys, guys, what just happened? <laughs> what? Oh. I broke the game. <gasps> I thought you got stuck. No, I went down a hill. Uh, my wolf, my uh. My meat there was rolling down the hill, and... And Tomb Raider is a fan. That's actually the first first glitch I've ever seen in the game. Really? Yeah, I've never... Yeah, I've I haven't seen a lot of uh, blogs or uh, what have you, little posts about problems well, with the game. There was that... So um, this is actually really surprising. So Envita, <laughs> I, know, I don't know how to say their name, the, the processor chip. Yeah. I guess on PC, Laura's hair would just, like, spin like crazy. What? For some reason, the chip... I think I heard well, that. Yeah, like wasn't working. You have to go to campfire first. Yeah. Mm. Shit. And uh, <laughs> that's the only thing I've heard like negative about the game. But I mean, I, right. I play on the Xbox. I haven't found anything wrong. Um. No, I haven't experienced anything yet. This is definitely the first time. Um, IGN Mitch Dyer. My oh. meat was rolling down the hill. Yes. What a, what a <laughs> 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 Thanks, Mitch. Mitch works for us here. Mitch that is our Mitch Dyer, correct? Yep. Okay, I'm not mistaken. Mitch Dyer's, uh, <laughs> Mitch Dyer's uh, Gears of War Judgment uh, review goes live on Sunday, nine, 9 p.m. Pacific. Read it. Give it a go, then. Watch the, watch Let's the video review. Doctor. Let's do this, Doctor. IGN approved. Yeah, check it out, guys. Um. <laughs> uh, Limit TT on IGN said, where would, uh, where would you like to see the next Tomb Raider game take place? Ooh. I don't know. I mean, I so we talked about how this is an island, so it would yeah. have to be not really. It has to be on an island. real world. Real world, like you know. I, I'm I'm a big fan of Tomb Raider Four's yeah. uh, the Egyptian thing, so I think the next Tomb Raider should be all Egyptian, like pure tombs, mummies, everything. That's what I'm. That's that what I want to see. Crazy. Be awesome. I think people would really like that. Oh yeah. If anyone's listening, um, <laughs> anyone Square from Enix, <laughs> anybody. <laughs> yeah. Irrational. We still have much to learn about the world. Or Crystal Dynamics, whoever. You sound like Who well, whoever we have to talk to, like, <laughs> make it happen. Also, if anyone from Crystal or Square Enix is listening, remake Soul Reaver. <gasps> Just saying. <laughs> Got a huge fan right here. Every single time I, I go to the Crystal Dynamics office, I mention to anyone I see, can you please remake Bring Soul Reaver? Bring it back. <laughs> um, Incredible. Let's see. It is Himiko. Shin Singh, I can never say his name right. Yeah, he was uh, our daily fixed fan of the week. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, he said it, that was loud. it would be awesome if you could, if you do the rest of this in your British accents. Ha ha ha. No, I can't. I'm I'm terrible. I'm terrible at English accents. You just tried it now. Good job. Uh, you know, I'd so be the kind of person to do that, but I just find it <sighs> distracting for what we're doing. It's distracting, and uh, you know could come off as a bit being obnoxious, so I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want any trouble. No. Yeah. We'll Plus, come. my boys but Daniel Krupa and Tom Butler is my second shout-out to them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> them. No! Yeah, I would hate to do a disservice and not do the British accent properly. So our number one fan so far, Kaz T P S three, said Egypt question mark real original. You know what? I think I think Egypt would be amazing. Yes. And sure, Egypt sounds cliche or whatever, but you well, know what? Well, it's something we haven't seen a lot in games. Exactly. And that's so and it'd be what, new, what used to be cliche is actually <laughs> old now. Yeah. And I know Uncharted has like does the uh, Middle East, the Egypt type stuff, but it's like, yeah. you know what? 
a Tomb Raider game has always been about the Egypt and the tombs and what better place to have tombs than Egypt. Yeah. I mean, I could, I could do my research and find an, another cool place too if you want me. I can definitely, maybe I'll write a blog about it. <laughs> you know, the different locations Lara yeah. should explore next. Run them up! Oh boy! Don't you fucking move. Oh. So hard sometimes to watch her get hit like that. We have five <laughs> minutes left, you guys. Oh my god! Sorry for being awful at this game. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we. I really wish we'd started from where I left off yesterday, because well, like if, I if was so into it. And but if we did that, you would have to. Oh no! You would talk I over forgot. The story. To, what? If <laughs> Sorry. If we did that, you would talk. You would have to. We'd be talking over the story, and you wouldn't like know what's going on. Right. At least now, like you, like you've been here before. Right. Um. Make Ooh, Spartan Warrior 86. You're awesome. The next Tomb Raider should rewrite Atlantis' plotline and mostly go into the fictional history leading up to the destruction and why it was destroyed. Mm. Amazing. Atlanta, so, I don't know if you guys are know this, but uh, the dinosaurs in the first Tomb Raider was actually in the lost city of Atlantis. Right. So, we've, they've, <laughs> they've done Atlantis before, and hopefully... There's dinosaurs. I, I did read a tweet saying that they don't want dinosaurs in the next game because that's too out there. Right. But, I mean, we need a good dinosaur game. Yeah. I just want I one game. I feel like there <laughs> hasn't been one in a, a couple, uh, in a long time. And I'm pretty sure it's already out there, but, not, like, right. I want a Far Cry 3 mod for an Xbox so I can play dinosaurs. Right. With Far Cry 3. I want to kill this guy. But I don't know if I have the ability yet. No, you have to hide from him. Right. Damn it. I love I love that stealth you know aspect of the game. Oh God. Really cool. Yeah. Oh God! Oh God! Um, Woofer, one ninety five. Damn it! See? <laughs> Me and her were in sync. <laughs> uh, Woofer, one ninety five. Do you think this game gives Laura enough experience to be the Laura Croft we know, or is there still more room for her to grow? So you haven't finished the game yet. Um, right. I finished the game, and there's always room to grow. Um, Spoilers, like, uh... Oh, he's already there. Laura gets almost cocky at the end, but I mean, like, it's... Which I can't wait to see. Yeah, like, I think I it's gonna... Experience there's that. always room for Laura to grow. There's always right. room for characters to grow. No matter what, like, Kratos, you know, he's, like, super one-dimensional. There's always ways for him to grow. And it is all about the writing and the developers see what no. they do with the game. Yeah. Um, and I think she's already showing a lot of you know, some of the things that we have come to know about Laura right. are writing in the game, you know? Mm -hmm. So, we'll see. That's that's one to ponder on. We should ponder on that. So, we officially have one more minute. Can you go an extra 30 or no? Um, I have, uh, you know, my usual daily duties to take to work. attend to. Yeah, usual work. Um, work. Thanks to... <laughs> uh, work is working my butt what? off. But, Carl... But at 89 Butters just said they <laughs> are remaking Soul Weaver. So Ooh. I have not heard anything about that. If Where they are, is this? Yeah, How do you know? Proof. He Show has me inside proof. information. If this is true, I will. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to lose my mind. Um, you mean you haven't already lost your mind? Yeah. He just well, it's not confirmed. True. <laughs> oh, well. this is a perfect place to end this actually where Laura gets the first yes. kill. Yeah. yeah. So after the first kill, we're going to sign off. And now me and Eric will be back next week. Right. There's a lot to discuss about this game, though. We might have to come back to it. Yeah. Um, no one escapes. And I feel like, yeah. Maybe one one last question. Let's see. A good question. I never noticed your earrings. Yeah. A little, uh... Ha. Yeah, this is, this is the part. This is the tough part. <laughs> Black, Sa Black Safer says, yeah. is the game of the year contender so far? I personally said yes. yes. I say yes. I say yes. Oh, no. Twitching, I forgot that. <laughs> I 
I don't know what happened, but I, for some reason, completely forgot about that. <laughs> Ugh, so emotional. <laughs> Tough. Yeah. And that's like... That's the, exactly the, how the, I the, the power of video games, like, you're just sitting here, like, watching, like, damn. Yeah. And the music, I don't know if I ever mentioned the music, the music is spot perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, they did change the theme. I would always prefer the original theme, but this new... Uh, song they have for her is beautiful. Oh, I guess that's it. Beautiful. And look, the fire. Can someone uh, talk about how awesome the fire is? The Anyways. Thank you guys for yeah. listening. Um, this was a fun, next fun week, session. Next Naomi week, Naomi and I will be back. Uh, I'm probably playing Far Cry 3. I hope so. Who knows? <laughs> Stay tuned. Um, but again, thanks for listening. And yeah, anything you want to say? Keep it locked to IGN. Uh, cheerio. Cheerio.